In order to register a new person, we will click on the blue register button. This will take us to the registration page. Here we can enter some of the personal identifiable information associated with this individual. In this ANC example, this includes the insurance number, first name, last name, age, phone number, and village. We can use any combination of these characteristics to find this individual in the system. In DHIS2, we can click on any of these fields. This will provide us with a description of that particular field. This allows us to provide some instruction to the user in terms of what these different fields represent. If the field has a red star next to its name, that means it is a mandatory field. We must fill it in for every individual that we register in this program. Let's start by entering in some new details for this individual. After we have entered in the details of this individual, we have some additional options. We can either save and continue, save and add new, print the form, or cancel. By saving and continuing, this will register the person and take us into the antenatal care program to continue our data entry process. We can also save and add new. This item allows us to register a person in the antenatal care program and then proceed to register more individuals. We can also print this form, which will just print us a copy of the screen that we see here. We can also cancel, which will cancel this registration. For example, if I click on Save and Add New, it will give us a notification that registration is completed. This means that that individual is now registered in the ANC example program. We can now proceed to register another individual as well. After we have entered the details, let's click on Save and Continue. This will allow us to enter more details associated with this antenatal care program. After we click on Save and Continue, it will take us to what we refer to as the Person Dashboard. This displays individual characteristics of this individual. This includes any other programs that this person is registered in, their profile, any relationships that they might have, and the data entry for the program itself. We can add and remove any of these items from the person dashboard. If we click on the X, we can see that we can in fact remove some of these widgets from the dashboard. We can add these back by clicking on the little settings icon in the right hand corner. Here we can select the option to show and hide widgets. From here, we can add in any of the additional widgets that exist within DHIS2. Each of these individual boxes that we see on the person dashboard is considered a widget. So for example, if I add in the messaging widget in the corner, I can click on close, and now we can send messages directly from this person's dashboard. This includes SMS messages and emails. You can see that it automatically takes the phone number that we entered during the registration process. In the data entry portion of the dashboard, we can see that an event has been created for ANC registration. In brackets, we can also see that this is attached to their first ANC visit. We can also see that a second event has automatically been generated. This is based on the schedule of antenatal care services and when they should receive them. We can enter some data that's associated with this individual. We'll start by selecting the estimated LMP date. This is their last menstrual period. We can then enter in values for parity and gravidity. These terms are associated with the number of pregnancies that have been brought to full gestational age as well as the number of pregnancies that the woman has had respectively. We can then select the number of IPT doses that have been given. 
We can also enter in values for the blood pressure. Lastly, we'll enter in a value for the weight. Once we have entered the details relevant for that particular ANC visit, we can click on Complete. It will give us a prompt that asks us, are you sure you want to complete the selected event? We have a couple different options. We can click on Complete. This means we will complete the event, but stay in this person's dashboard. We can also complete and exit. This will complete this event and exit the person's dashboard. We can also cancel. If we cancel, this will cancel the completion of this event. Let's just click on complete for now. We can see now that this event has been marked as completed. If we click on it, we can see the details associated with that ANC first visit.